Hey everybody, so welcome back to some more Dragonfell. Now you may have noticed that my character is level 30. I really wanted to get some training to become level 20 because it was just taking forever and it was quite annoying. And it, it would have took many more paths to get to 20. And the reason why I'm 30 is because I did buy some more dragon coins because I wanted to feed my dragon a little bit more. So I bought the Sun God Scythe set. Now the reason why I bought this one is because I wanted a pretty good light weapon. Now to upgrade this set you have to take it to Zorbak. But you first get it at level 10. And then the upgrade, the next level upgrade, is level 30. I don't know why it's not 10 then 20 and 30 then 40. But it's like 10 then 30 then 50 and 70. And then 80 then 90. For whatever reason so I got to get to level 30 to upgrade the weapon. Alright so last time we did the water breathing potions and we also did the Paris vs ninjas war. Now this time we have a choice because the quest I kind of branched in to do two different pathways. Now we have a choice out of the Paris or the ninjas. Now the story is kind of similar. Some of the events in the story are the exact same for each choice. But there is a few differences and there's different characters and different whatever. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing both quests. So today we're going to be doing the pirates and then tomorrow's video we're going to do the ninjas. What I will say is if you want to watch the pirates but you don't want to watch the ninjas then just skip tomorrow's video if you want to. And vice versa as well if you want to watch the ninjas but not the pirates. Then skip this video and go on to the next one. So I just thought I'd get that out of the way before we started. So first made rhubarb has sent you to the ruins of the centre of the Shunuf Island in order to receive the legendary wind pearl. But it's not all as it seems. Perhaps it wasn't the ninjas who stole the wind pearl after all. Alright so the ruins of Cardana. Minard, I must say you've been making more and more useful each day. Except for blowing up that ship. Yeah, sorry about that. I have a special quest for you. No other pirate has been able to accomplish it. In the centre of the island are the ruins of the Cardana. The ruins of Cardana were, were discovered by the legendary pirate Captain Crossbone when he first came to Chernuff. Captain Blackbriar discovered Crime Crossbone's journal. He mentions that the wind pad is hidden deep within the ruins. The wind pad is what the ninjas have been fighting us for all these years. They think that it's their gem in the four winds. Well they don't understand that pearl's power. With that item any power could control the winds of all the seas. The pirate ship would, um, would move faster and the sail smoother than any ship ever has. It would never be a storm. It would never weather a storm. <laughs> I want you to do what many other pirates have tried and failed. I want you to bring the wind pearl back here for Captain Blackberry. The ruins of the Cardara are a dangerous place. Cardano are a dangerous place. It's said to be home of the ghosts, strange magics and deadly traps. Crossbone's journal has a few clues that might help you survive, if you can understand them. Page 23. In the light of Cardana, only the penitent pirate will pass. Page 42. Above the abyss of Cardana, only a leap of faith will prove the pirate's worth. I have no clue what these mean, but they will all, they will make more sense to you when you're there. Good luck Midnight. The wind pearl awaits. And once we have it, the war between the ninjas and the pirates will finally end. Right, this quest is a little bit weird. You've got like three different pathways to go through. So you've got one here, one here, and one here. I'm just going to go through the front door. Because why not? You hear a film of female voice. Is anyone there? I can't quite see. Alright, so these guys be bot. We need to light too, that's really good. <laughs> we need a light weapon. It should destroy him. There you go. Fucked. Awesome. I love it. Are you weak to light as well, my friend? Yes, you are. This is also right. There you go. 
Be careful of the sec secretary drones. I can't const. I also want to say sorry I've been cut to get a lot of the gameplay. Now, uh, you see if you can open this door with the three coloured locks. But yeah, sorry I've been cut to get a lot of the gameplay. I kind of need to, in a way, because I really want to get out a lot of these chapters of the book, a lot of these quest lines in a single video. I just think it's really good for structure and we're not um, taking too long getting things done. And we can um, progress the series a little bit faster. And I think that's really useful. So I am sorry about that, but in the future will correct itself. Because the further on we get in the game, the more... You know, there's a lot more production quality to the quests. Especially in book three. So you get like a lot more cutscenes and dialogue and all that crap, so... Quests are generally going to be longer later. So there's a door here. Red, yellow, green, and blue. You have to basically get all of those locks. Quite straightforward, really. There's a red one here. Awesome. You have to fight this asshole, though. Alright, the red switch is down. Red switch activated. Nice. Now we need two more. And here is the yellow switch. Guided by another one of these. And a healing pad, by the look of it. Yellow switch activated. Nice. Alright, this door here is a bit weird. I remember I made a guide on this thing a long time ago. I can't remember where you get the key to open this. I know it's like kind of like a weapon. And when you go near the door, it kind of like extends out into like a key. And you open this, and I think there was a like um, a helmet or something. It's like a cosmetic item that kind of like these cool so well I don't really like it, it was a bit crap actually I thought but they're kind of like these futuristic -y cosmetic items like helmet or a pair of wings or a cape or whatever I can't remember exactly what the wear but I just thought I'd let you know I can't remember where you get the key though I think you buy it off Cicero's shop I might be wrong though I don't really think it's that important but I should have probably mentioned I trained my stats up so I got 100 strength and I go for 25 injection and 20 wisdom. You trip the defense. You have to run, talk, kneel, just stand there. I'm gonna kneel. There you go. I remember that. You destroyed the security. Good job. Thank you. I am awesome, that's why. Changer. This will require a leap of faith to kickstart the safety measures. We safety <laughs> boss bridge activated. Yay. There she is. I'm pretty sure this is like a big reference to Halo. Because Cortana, normally in Halo, she's called Cortana. So it's definitely Halo reference. You made it. Oh, thank the maker. I'm Cortana. I'm sure you have many questions. And it will answer what I can. Who are you? Where are we? Wind Pearl. We could just complete the quest, but I feel stupid for doing that, so I'm gonna say Wind Pearl. That is what I'm looking for at the end of there. Can you tell me where the Wind Pearl is inside these ruins? Wind Pearl? Oh, that's what those powers call it. It's actually the Wind Orb. It's a very powerful magical item, and it was once my power source. I'm afraid that I cannot give it to you please <laughs> is that the only thing that will stop the war between the ninjas and the pirates in shown of island you don't understand your goal is admirable and i would give it to you if i could but i cannot it was stolen weeks ago stolen by who i will show you what a piece of shit drakath Cardana. i know this guy if he wants a wind orb then we have to get it back it is too dangerous in his hands. It's kind of funny how like the obs are so important in this section of the game. But you don't really realize how important it is until after this quest line. You know like, because you don't really know what the obs are really. You are right. If the power of the wind orb or any other of the obs is misused, it could be disastrous. Give the orb back at all costs. If my sensors had enough power, I can tell you exactly where he is, but I can't. I'm sorry. Sorry, Cordana. You tell me everything. Oh, I need to know. 
I will get that all back from Drakath. You may edit it. <laughs> Complete quest. Drakath is banned the theft of the window instead of the ninjas. The ruins are in, yeah, in reality. The remains of a giant fighting machine. It's like a mech quest sort of thing, I think. Uh, things are shown to fall and they're not all they seem. Why the fuck would I want a level 11 axe? Alright, box of ninjas. So the Windfell was taken by someone named Drakath? Hmm. Someone working for the ninjas, no doubt. Drakath sounds like a slippery character. But I know one who is even more slippery. Brethren is a Sneevo training ninja dojo. I read that right. And we have an agent on the inside. At least I think we do. Anyway, these Sneevo ninjas are rogue force. They aren't to be, they aren't tied to Titan's ninjas. They're, and they're very good at gathering information. It's at 58, we'll find you once you get there. Get moving, swab. There he is. I like how the Stevels are like, fall for his disguise, it's quite funny. You must be a mid nerd. Okay, here's the deal. This is the Stevel training dojo of a monster called Aka Akuchi no Kami. Oh. He stole all of his skills from the ninjas here on. Sure enough. He trains these Stevels to gather information, which he sells to anyone. There are four floors of this dojo, and the information you want about Drakath will probably be kept in a crusty casket. Remember to check the rooms of all four floors until you find the box. Now get out of here, you're going to blow my cover. Okay, bye. See you later, douchebag. Hello. Why am I right blowing this cover when? Fuck, he has a resistance to light. Oh well. Whack him anyways, he's gonna die, like, relatively quick, and I'm too lazy to switch my weapon. Probably a bad idea. I'm just like one shot in these guys anyway, so... Alright, there was nothing on that floor. I have wasted my time. Oh, dodge him. Dodge him if I can. Oh, oh shit. And is it on the top floor? Yes, I got it. Nice, I really hate the kind of random quest. <laughs> I can just decide to not do them, basically, right? Ice minus 10, water minus 20. I don't have either, so I'm gonna put it back on my light weapon. This guy's actually really strong. Unless that was the ninjas. <laughs> it's under 57, not terrible. Uh, I guess the ninjas did quite a bit of a number on me. Ow. Never mind, he actually really hurts. <laughs> Good thing he's dead. Idiot. Nice. You fit weird waves of crafty, not so deadly elite ninjas, and the monster called a Kuchi no Kami. But does this chest hold the information that you need? Maybe. Enough from Spulcher. It reads, Drakath. You moron. Well done obtaining the wind up. Pirate blockade shine is sure enough. Um, you have to find your own way off the island. So. He must be still on the island, but where? You may sell this nut. Is this like worth quite a lot, or is it just like garbage? Is it worth like 10 gold, or is it worth like 10 million? I have quite a lot of gold now. I have 21,000. When I was farming, I was gained quite a lot. Wonder is not terrible. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wonder why anyone would even buy that off here, like a piece of paper with Captain's Orders. The no from Spulcher makes me think that Rockhead will still be in the island, hidden somewhere. I sent a message to Captain Blackberry aboard the Red Betty, and he says that he's tracked Drakath down. The captain would like to speak with you. Head down the Red Bay, and don't you waste a second. Blackberry's not a patient man. Scary, look at him. He's an ugly bugger, ain't he? Oh, hi there, matey. I look aboard the Red Betty. The most feared pirate ship in the eight known seas of law. Remember to keep your hands and your abs inside the craft at all times, or I'll gut you with me hook I feed you giblets to the sharks. That's nice. I may not keep my word often, but I've never made a threat that I wasn't willing to keep, so now you understand how things work on my ship. 
people do what I say or they walk the plank. But if they, if you do what I say, Carried, then you get your share of the booty that his vessel takes on board. After I get my cut, of course. It's as simple as that. Rhubarb says that you're pretty swell for a landlubber and that you get what needs to be done when done. He may be an honour-bound idiot, but he has a good eye for talent. I don't think um, Rhubarb's an idiot. The eye that I didn't take from him. That was the last time that he will, he will let the ship's cook overcook my steak. By Triton. Ha ha ha. This guy thinks he's funny. Rupert was told me that if you've gone close to the wind capturing wind pearl, then any pirate so far. Because I'm the best, even though I'm not a pirate. He explains that this Drakoth guy took the wind pearl out from under your nose. I don't allow failure on this ship, but considering your performances so far, I'm giving you a chance to redeem yourself, Swab. I've tracked Drakath down to a cave on the southern tip of the island. You'll have to take the underwater path to quickly get to him. I guess you got the test the quality of those water breathing persons the ninjas flooded the sea with. Ah, uh, wait, that was me. I thought you should know. I've a dinghy. Ready to take you to the caves underwater entrance, which should lead you to, to Drakath. I understand that you have some history with this bilge rat. Kill me if it pleases you, but bring me that wind pearl back. I will, went through too much trouble tracking it down to Shonoff Island. I keep in this location hidden from the proxy monks, poxy monks in the Temple of the Four Winds. Their prophecies say that the wind pearl will only be safe when it's returned to the temple, but I'll take good care of it. Uh huh. They know nothing of the power that combining the wind pearl with the spell written on. But I've said too much. Just a bit nerfed. Get with that wind pearl back, and you will replace rhubarb as my number one. He really dislikes rhubarb. You will earn your share of the power. That power. Get moving. Hey, hey. We there I'm going. <laughs> I hate this quest. Well, it actually works. I can breathe just fine. Oh no, it's not this quest. Another land creature is evading our sanctum. Ha. Ah, they only have one row of teeth. These things are no threat. Remember they have other natural defences. Stay clear of the warm patches of water. So that like you've like pissed in it or something. Right. Energy, fire and ice. I might switch to my level 30 surgings. Prepared. I was about to say prepared to get wrecked. But these guys have quite a lot of HP. So I'm like for a double battle. That's what you get when you get to level 30. When you get higher you just start fighting much stronger enemies. How it all works. It's all about scaling. Healing pad. Healing pads are nice. I think I'm done. Did you see that light at the end of the tunnel? That sounds like I'm dying. But you know what I mean? Look. There's the light. Head to the light. There he is. There you are. And with no friends this time, you'll be easy. It was easy last time. Minnert. I heard that you were on Shunoff Island. Why do you have to be everywhere that I am? I'm the hero of the story. It's my job. Since we both know that I'm time just going to beat you senseless, why not just hand over that window and make it easy on yourself? You dared to speak to me that way. You shall be bowing to me. I don't really see that happening anytime soon. This is your last shine, Strakath. The window Now. There is nothing that you could do to me that is worse than the price of failing to pulcher. He's already filled her a few times, what's so bad? Besides, I would never give it to Captain Blackberry Stooge. If you want the orb, dog, then come and fetch it. I will do so. Yay, human Drakath. He has 700 health. What an asshole. He's gonna absolutely nuke me in a sec though, watch. Watch. And uh, not right now. Not right now, I'm safe for nuking. 
for a second. Literally, he's probably getting nuke you now. How about now, Draka? There you go. Dead. You know, it's funny because when I was playing this quest the other day, I actually killed him in like one shot. And I just nuked him in 110. And he, he killed him. He like fell to the ground. But then um, he played the cutscene and it showed me like injured. He's like, I won the fight, but also lost the fight. It's like we traded with each other. Drakath, what did you... I I did nothing. The wind orb. Such power. That was dragon magic. Ha. Uh, the orb must know I'm the rightful king in this land. A response to the master's desires. With this power, you're no match for me. No one is. Ha. Uh, I finally beat you. It don't, that doesn't really count, I don't think. Man, that felt so good. Look, look. My hands are even shaking a little. Now, to finish you with the orb's power. I'm fucked. What? No. No. Orb. Obey your master. Stop this. Finish me, nerd. No. There he's gone. He died. He's <laughs> you just see him in the background over here. Just fall down to the sea. I can't say Drakath keep that orb. Always. Give it to Sepulcher. Whoa. It seems that Drakath activated the wind orb and has used its power against you. But it looks like he has not have control of the power yet. You have to get him before he figures out how to use that power. I see you. I get it. I see you. It looks okay. I'm very good though, isn't it? Well, level 29 is actually a decent ice weapon at this point. I was about to trash it. <laughs> then I realized there's actually a decent weapon that will hold on to for a while. Or it's a Red Betty spell. Hold on, Minert. I don't know how you did it, but Drakath the Wind Pearl dropped into the Red Betty less than an hour ago. The Celtic is asked to see you on board the ship, but take care. He has a devilish glow in his eyes. I did never seen such a fierce look on him. And Captain Blackberry is a man known for his fierce looks. And he's just really ugly. To the point where he just looks scary. He isn't really that scary, he's just ugly as fuck. Good job, Swamp. I'm not sure what you did to get that in that cave, but the wind pell dropped Drakath off on the deck of the Red Betty. He seems to be having some trouble getting it to do what he wants. Uh, he keeps screaming at it to do what he says. But the windpell won't even let him leave the deck of the ship. It's keeping him on pod. I told you that I would reward you for bringing the pell to me. And I will honor my word. As a reward, you may finish Drakath off. Yay! Have fun, matey. I am going to enjoy this. Work, you stupid old work. I command it. Take me from this place. Why have you brought me here? Why won't you let me leave? Having some trouble, Drakath? Don't. Don't come near me, Bidnert. I... I will use the Elbow's power again to... Who are you kidding? It looks like you couldn't use the Elbow's power to open a jar with a stubborn lid. I'm not sure what happened before, Drakath. Why the Elbow protected you, or why it brought you here. But well, this is the end of the road. And of the orb. No. The orb knew that I was right. For king of the land. He has to be why he protected me. It did it once. And it will do it again. Shit I think I skipped something. Yes. That must be it. It will protect me again. Fight me again Midnight. If you dare. You do not dare. <laughs> okay. I definitely dare. He has 900 health this time. Well done, Drakath. You fucked it up. Again. Like he always does. No. Why did the orb not protect me? I'm not sure why it never protected you in the first place. Altian is king this land. And that is the way that it should be. You'll pay for this disrespect to me, nerd. I unlocked the orb's power once. And I'll find a way to do it again. I don't think so, you fool. Oh my god, you took the orb. You are both fools. Now that the pearl is mine, 
I have you both to thank for it. I'm so confused. Let me explain how I used you both. What a fuck wit. Hate him, ugly bugger. Even though Cordana is old and her magic is failing, she's still a dangerous enemy. Too far, too dangerous for me to risk my own life for the orb. When I leaped to the location of the orb to Spulcher, I didn't dream that he'd sent a dim bull by Dracoth to retrieve it. Tracking him down was easy enough, but in order to activate the orb's power, I had to have one, uh, the one who possessed the orb to face their greatest foe. Since the orb's magic was active, the wind orb was summoned here by my, to my ship, and I have to thank you both. Now that the wind orb is here, I can accomplish the spell that I found 20 years ago, in the strange chest floating in the ocean. I have the spell woven in the very boards and planks that make up the Red Betty. The ship is a living spell, and that will make me a god. Soon, the spell will transform me into a monster that hasn't been around in thousands of generations of sailors. I will be the ultimate power in the seas when I become the King Kraken. Oh my god. One ugly fucker. Why Eve's even uglier now? It's working. The spell is working. Soon I will be the god of the sea. And you two fools have the honour of being my first worshippers. As well as my first meal when the transformation is complete. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, me? Worship you? You look like an accident at a sushi restaurant. Ha! Uh, sick burn. So let me get this straight. You used us to get the up so you could complete a spell that you had written onto your ship. And now you have become the god, powerful sea monster, but you're halfway between the Bracken and Captain Blackberry right now, aren't you? That's exactly right. So right now you're Blackenberry. That sounds like the name of the breakfast cereal. Just that with me. I actually know a pirate named Captain Crunch. Now, bow to me. Bow to yourself, I'm busy. Draka, this could get serious. If you join forces, they're just this one time. We might have the power to defeat his monstrosity. What do you say? I say, let's do it. I will fight by your side, Midnight. Really? Ha, ah, no. Have fun with it with Squidward, sucker. <laughs> that guy's such a jerk. Only you and me now, Hera. Are you going to bow to me? Or am I going to have to destroy you? You're not um a god yet, Black Brackenberry, you freak. Let's see what kind of power you have. That was a mistake, Midnight. Prepared to pay the ultimate price. He has energy minus 25, so I'll equip all my shit. With energy. Awesome. Boom. Massive hit. I really like that trinket. You know the one that does the 25% boost. For 5 tens. I think it's pretty good. I know there's other trinkets in the game. That are like really good. But. I think for now it's doing it's job. I'm probably not going to get the we're probably not going to get a new one anytime soon, so. For the time being, fantastic. Goodbye, retard Walmart, Davy Jones. You done well, Binnert. You make me proud to be a pirate. You defeated that man with Brackenberry and saved our whole way of life. The Red Betty needs a new captain. I suppose the job falls to me. I've always loved that ship more than Captain Blackberry ever could. The good captain was even kind enough to leave a spare hat and coat in his quarters of the ship. I'll go get those now. A few minutes later. There he is. Looking swanky. What do you th think, matey? I guess I'm Captain Rhubarb now. I like the way that sounds. As for the wind pal, well, it's just too dangerous to be left in our hands 
and we can't have it falling into the ninja's hands either. I think I would take it back to the ruins of Cordana. If what you said to me is true, then she could use it to power herself and she could keep it safe. Than any of us could. Osprey Cove and the Pirates, you are owe you a huge debt of gratitude, Minnerd. You are always welcome here. And you and should you ever need our help, just send for us. Pirates always help their own. Yay. Brackenberry has been defeated and his plans to transform himself into some kind of undersea god monster have fallen short. And Rubo is now captured the Red Betty. You have saved the town and possibly all of law from the tentacle terror of Brackenberry. Breakwater Rod. Rod. No thank you. I do not have to want a rod. Alright, so next we're on something fishy now. This guy is kind of like an optional one, but we'll do it anyway. After all that you've done for us, I hate to ask you for another favour, but there are some strange goings on down by the waterfront. Okay, I should chill in my spine, Minert. Whatever you find down there, get rid of it. I will do so, and it will be glorious. There he is. It's the... Kraken. Oh my god. What an asshole. It looks like after Blackberry wasn't quite done with you, Minnert. He's willing to tear apart Osprey Cove to get to you. Now that you see what he's become, I can only think of one way to stop the King Bracken. I guess I need the power of a dragon lord. Uh, that's the spirit, Minnert. I knew he could count on you. I knew you could count on you, that makes sense. Right. So, MMLE 20. Awesome. Right, we have i um, I got a couple more skills. I just started train a few. Couldn't really bother to train too many, but yeah. I find that with the dragon, like all the skills are good, but you never really need them. Like you could get by with these skills perfectly. Every dragon fight is kind of easy. And look at him, he's almost dead already, so... King Bratton spits ink in your eyes. That means... I keep missing all my attacks. For example... And there he goes. Yeah, I always used to find this guy because 800 gold at this point. That's pretty good for a so boss that took like a minute to kill. So, pretty good. The King Bracken has fallen and Osprey Cove is safe. Once again, you've proven yourself to be a loyal pirate. And King Bracken will think twice before sticking his slimy head down the ocean ever again. Mainly because he's dead, I hope. Level 33. Alright, so Sepulja. A little cutscene. Minert. Looks like we've got a spot of trouble in the coastal mountains to the south. All of the animals are fleeing in the woods in massive numbers. The question is. What are they running from? There seems to be a, da a dark entry on the horizon. See if you can clean this mystery up. I will do so. Gladly, my man. It's Sepulcher. Who would have guessed? The quest is called Sepulcher. Fly, my Fuck. <laughs> like a rat to cheese. Minnert, you're so predictable. I always love this background. Where it's like the light in the dark. It looks so good. Spudger, it's about time that you came out hiding and faced me. Hiding? Ah. Uh, this fool thinks that you have been hiding in the shadows. Don't flatter yourself. I've just been too busy to bother with you. Well, you're not too busy now. Did someone cancel an appointment on you? Ah, you're funny. No one told me that. No, I'm still a very busy man. But when you recaptured the wind orb from my seven Drakaf, I was forced to start considering you a nuisance, like an insect to my food. An insect to be crushed. Sorry, am I starting to bug you? Get it? Bug you? Ah. Uh. <laughs> what? You're right, this area is funny. Why do you want the orb? I've seen some of what your under army can do. 
You've all got the power of any human ever quant. Quant? Could want. You're right. But I'm not exactly human anymore. And my master is nothing like human. Once you have united all of the elemental orbs, no power on law or any other world will be able to stop our plans. We have already broken the prophecy. You are no threat to us anymore. The prophecy is broken? Ah, uh, Celestia has told you the here and nothing. Ah, uh, there was a prophecy which said that there would be born two dragons. One would save the world and the other would destroy it. When we consent when you hatch the dragon from the black dragon box, the prophecy said that this dragon was the one to destroy the world. I was able to hatch the savvy dragon from the white dragon box. Once for fear being corrupted by darkness, the dragon who was meant to save the world became another of my undead servants. At that point, the prophecy was broken. There was no dragon left to save the world, only Draco to destroy it, and Fluffy to help. Draco? That's impossible. As long as Draco and I are together, then we will do anything in our power to save law from you and your kind. It's our destiny to defeat you. Prophecy on our prophecy. Believe what you like. My master set all of these events in motion. When mankind was still crawling in caves and hiding from the sun. You were a tiny part of the master's plan. And you have played your part with the prophecy broken. You are just an irritant to be swept aside. We'll see about that. The wind orb stays on this island as long as Drake and I stand in your way. Don't be such a rush to die, Minert. I have no interest in fighting you. It would be... it would bore me. So just step aside. I've beaten every flunky that you've thrown at me so fast, Vulture, and I'll beat you too. It's true that you've proven more powerful than I, than even I suspected, but fighting me is suicide. I'm out of your league. I'd rather wait until you've developed your skills. At least I've already got all my skills on level 15. Well, I, I got them at level 15. At least then it will be an interesting fight. Last chance, Minert. Run or die. I'll, I'll, I'll die. I kind of like the sound of that. Very well. Let's begin. Wow, oh my god. Oh, see, you might as well just spam the attack button. It said it's impossible to win. I'm pretty sure, look at this HP bar. So like two hits, they did 0 0.22. 0 0.12, I mean. So one hit did like 0.6. So, uh, oh, point 0.06, I mean. <laughs> yeah, fucked. Huh, I give you a fair warning. You are not ready for me. Now, prepare to die. Ha, huh. not this time, Spulger. We have work to do. And so does the hero. The master commands it. Midnight lives his day. No, I will not give this crash in mercy. We will destroy him now. Don't like that. So, Butcher, it sounds like you want to disobey your master. It sounds like you want to disobey me. No, I obey. It looks like you will have another chance, Midnight. Make the next battle more interesting for me. Ah. Uh, who could have imagined Sepulchre and his dragon would hold such power? You narrowly escaped with your life. But at least now you have had the taste of the battles to come. How will you prepare for your next encounter? Probably just die. Anyway, that does it for that video, so... Next time, we, as I said, we'll be doing the ninja story. If you don't really want to watch that, then that's fine. But either way, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.